Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to an introduction video. Especially this video I think be good for you if you're just a Barato fan that don't really watch football um, globally, but I do so I thought I'd do this video for you. But anyway, let's get straight down to it. So let's tell you all you need to know about the Europa League group stage draw on the 1st of September. But guys, let's get started by giving a big crap thumbs up, subscribing for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So... In the group stage of the competition, there will be 32 teams from across the European uh, Commonwealth, I think it's called. Um, well, in Europe, anyway. So, there will be teams in Italy, Spain, Portugal, all over uh, Europe, uh, Europe, as well as us. So, there will be 32 teams in the pot. Um, whether that be Liverpool, Brighton, Sporting Lisbon, whoever, they will be in the pot. And it will make sense when I get down to the bottom and I'll explain why down the bottom. It's made up of groups of four, so A to the H in Europa League. Uh, that is eight groups all together, so you literally got eight groups of 32 teams made into four. So basically as i've just said eight groups of uh, four which is a to h don't really matter what uh groups you're in because you're all part of thursday night anyway unlike the champions league no team in the group stage can be from the same countries for so for example you will not get brighton versus liverpool in the group stages there's a rule in uefa where you can't draw teams in your country so let's say for example Brighton are in group A and Liverpool get come out next I know Liverpool probably come out first could we be a pot 3 or 4 but so let's just say Brighton come out the pot they would be in group A of the draw if group A is available then when Liverpool comes out group A will not be in the main pot if you watch the draw live, you see what I mean. There'll be pots, A, balls with um, group A balls in, B, C, D, E, and all the way down. And they will leave group A, so it can't be picked up the main pot, which is a bit, I think, further centre stage. So, you know, so that's how I will do that. And if you do watch it live, you see a lot more what I mean. I've already seen it, so... You know, but I'll probably will watch this one, especially Brighton being in it for the first time ever. And all teams must play at home and away from home. So, if you can't make it into Europe for whatever reason, money, you will see them play at the Amex Stadium. Um, now, I just want to go back on the same country. Does that mean every country? Yes, it does. So, for example, if we had, well, Batista, in our group which is La Liga and then Villarreal uh, came out they cannot come into our group because of we got Real Batista in there so I'm hoping I'll pronounce that last name correctly as well um, but yeah so that is how the draw works from the main rules if you've got any more questions please feel free to get in the comments below and um, the 1st of September the draw will be made Brighton will be in it I, you know, I'm really damn looking forward to taking you around here with me. But it's just gonna, I just want to clear up a few rules that a few people might question. Um, we can draw teams from my country, but I don't think it's till the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, semi finals, I think it might be a quarters when they make it an open draw. So we will not play twice in England, home and away leg in England. It will be abroad for the away leg. And we may play Liverpool if Liverpool or, you know, we get that far in the quarterfinals where I believe it becomes an open draw. But anyway, guys, I'll just a quick video to let you know what you can expect, what the Europa League uh, group, stall work, uh, group stage draw works like. I hope it has helped you. If it has, give it a big thumbs up if it has helped you. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.